You don't have to double the size of your business to double your revenue. Hey, welcome back. Jeff Hagee, Daily Success Strategies. Thanks for being with me today. So yesterday I had an opportunity to visit with one of my friends and talk about her business and some of the strategies she's implementing. And one of the things we talked about was the fact that you don't have to double the size of your business, you know, hire more employees, get more equipment, do all of those things to double your revenue. There's a lot of strategies that you can implement that can bring a lot more success in a different way. So the things that we want to talk about is actually what I talk a lot about in day number two of the business domination challenge. And that is by looking at a few specific areas, you can really make a significant impact on your, on your business. So when we look at getting more leads, having more better conversions, creating more transactions, having higher prices and having better profit margins. If you look at each of those areas, small incremental increases can have a huge impact on your bottom line. So what I want to do in this episode is just share an example, just to give you an idea of just looking at leads and, you know, just thinking about it. If everything else stays the same, but you double your leads, you're going to double your revenue. So let's walk through it. If you've got a thousand dollar offer and you get a hundred leads per month and you've got a conversion rate of 10%, well, out of a hundred leads per month at a conversion rate of 10%, that means you're going to have 10 clients, 10 clients at a thousand dollar offer. That's $10,000. So if nothing else changes, if everything stays the same and you double your leads, that means you've got 200 leads per month at 10%, that turns into 20 clients. 20 clients at a thousand dollar offer, $20,000. You just doubled it. Now, of course, there's a lot of variables that have to come into play, but when you look at that, you can see the impact of the, what this can do to it. So even taking that to the next step, okay, you've doubled it by doubling the amount of leads that you have. And I guess, first of all, how do you double the amount of leads? Well, one of the things is you've got to have lead generation strategies, whether it's lead pages, whatever you're doing, but there are a number of ways that you can increase the number of leads you have by implementing some of these strategies. If, if those are things you want to talk about, just touch base with me and we'll show you a lot of the things that we do. Now, if you do that, you've doubled your leads, doubled your revenue. Well, what if you doubled your conversion rate? What if it went from being a conversion rate of 10% to 20%? Again, with everything else staying the same, you're going to double it again. So when you look at that, when you look at your leads, your conversions, your transactions, your prices, your profits, there's a lot of things you can do that are going to have a huge impact on your bottom line without doubling the size of your business, without hiring a bunch more employees, without investing in a bunch more equipment, all of those things. So before you take that step to double your company size, look at the ways that you can create more leads, have better conversions, create more transactions per customer charge higher prices, have a premium offer and create, have better profit margins. These are the things we work on every day. If you'd like to talk about these, send me a DM or email me at jeff at jeffhagey.com. I'd love to have a conversation with you and show you how we do a lot of these things. But thanks for being with me. If you know anyone that's looking to grow their business and this could be helpful, please share it with them. I'll be back tomorrow. Ogmandino said that the difference between those who have failed and those who have succeeded lies in the difference of their habits. Good habits are the keys to success. Many of the habits that will bring you success in life are easy to do, but they're also easy not to do. I developed the Mindset Journal so that I could easily implement powerful success habits into my daily routine. The power of the Mindset Journal comes from knowing your top priorities and scheduling them into your day. The power of the reticular activating system and its relationship to your goals, your mindset questions, and your daily accountability. So if you want to implement some quick and effective success habits into your daily routine, go to jeffhagey.com slash mindset journal and get yours today. If you're an entrepreneur who wants to discover the breakthrough secrets that will produce the results you've been searching for, but you just can't seem to figure out why you keep working harder and harder and you're just not getting those results, I want to tell you about a new challenge that I've created just for you, the business domination challenge. If you want to create the entrepreneurial lifestyle and the business you dream of, then this is exactly what you're looking for. I created the Business Domination Challenge to show you how to grow your business exponentially and to become an optimal performing entrepreneur. What's an optimal performing entrepreneur? 
It's an entrepreneur who's succeeding in all areas of their life. If I show you how to build a successful business, but your relationships, your health, and everything else is falling apart, that's not a success. It's not about working harder, it's about implementing the correct principles and becoming the person who can do the things that produce the results. Hurry and go to jeffhagey.com slash business domination and secure your spot today.